take a look at Impixion's smart warehouse solution using this 3D simulation. To start off with the inbound goods process, I'm in a truck that's backing up. It's got GPS tag on the container, communicating to the cloud and back down to the management system. The management system then sends a signal back to the tablet inside the cab, telling them, welcome, please unload at dock number two. You see dock number two here? So we'll go ahead and have the truck unload. No telephones, walkie-talkies, running out to the parking lot, automatically happens. The forklift next gets an automated message from the Impiction Internav system telling them, hey, pick up the goods that are arriving at dock two. So we'll go ahead and have them dispatch for this transport order. They're gonna arrive uh, and unlock the, or uh, unload the goods. You see some radio waves communication here. We're reading RF, uh, RFID tags. We're reading, have an ultrasonic reader. A lot of different technologies we, we can use. We're identifying that good and we're posting it into the SAP system. Could be a WMS or whatever kind of system we're using. Saying, hey, a container 2112 has arrived. It's inbound and we have uh, posted it to the system. Next, I'm gonna send the transport order. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue. And the management system is going to tell him Please deliver that good to aisle, to aisle 11, storage compartment 12. So now they know where to go. We can integrate route guidance so they know where in the warehouse to go. In this instance, the driver drove down the wrong aisle. So we're warning them, warning, wrong location, please correct your route. So they're going to correct their route and deliver this to the right uh, location. It saves time, makes it easier to find, saves money, and it also is less a, a, uh, it's more safe than having them jump out of their forklift using a hand scanner all the time. He's going to place that good, and again, we've got this uh, radio frequency reading going on. It identifies that they've dropped off the good. It's now in storage. We're going to post that information to the ERP or WMS system so that we know where that good is. Now, we've got a separate request coming in. This one's from the factory, from the production, and it's saying, Please deliver container 711. I need that in the factory, uh, some parts and so forth. So that's going to send again a transport order to them to pick up that container and deliver it to the milk train, you know, transition station. So they're going to have, and they know exactly where to go. They're going to pick that up. Again, we got the uh, radio frequency going on here that uh, does the scannerless auto ID and uh, location identification. We've got a notification in the SR, uh, SAP or the ERP system of WMS that that container is no longer uh, on the shelf. So we're tracking its live location. And we're posting that back to the SAP system. We're going to now deliver that to the uh, Milk Run train station, transition area, staging area for further transport. All scannerless without hopping out of the uh, forklift. We're going to drop that off and register that where it belongs. So that's an example of one way of implementing smart warehouse. Lots of ways to do it. In general, you've got some technology. I'm going to shift you over here to the hardware. We have uh, different kinds of uh, transmitting tags that go on to uh, various containers and forklifts and so forth. We have receivers or anchors or sensors that are mounted on the ceiling that receive the location. And then if I can bring you over here to our uh, software platform. If you look right up here, this is our live map of the software that identifies uh, the live location in real time of all the products that are in your warehouse. Uh, there's you know, a thousand features in the software, I'll have to show you a couple. One is the asset management area where all my assets are listed. I can, for instance, look at say, the precision driller. Where is it? It shows me exactly where it is on the map in live time. Uh, another example would be maybe a, a history report. I want to look at the uh, location of a particular asset. Where the history, where it's popped on, uh, and to the, you can see trail map of different ways of looking at the system of uh, heat maps to show bottlenecks and uh, areas of inefficiency and also where goods are you know, too long in a certain location because you have a certain process you want to follow. A lot of ways to do it. So that's just a quick summary of the Smart Warehouse solution that we're uh, 